Hey everybody, this is Matt with another video tutorial about InDesign. If you're about to copy and paste text into InDesign, then you better watch this video because I'm going to show you the fastest ways to do it. Here we go. So copy and pasting text into InDesign. Let InDesign do the work for you. So you don't want to be copying and pasting text and then just like making pages one at a time. I'm showing you the quick way to do it. And then I'll try to go over it slower at the end. So up front, I'm just going to show you real quick, and then I'm going to show you what I showed you in case you get confused. So what I'm going to do here as an example is an index of a roster. So this is a book of design for university, and we just have a whole bunch of names here at the end. And I actually got it in an Excel document, but eventually got emailed to me in a Word document. So I'm going to show you how I copy all this over in InDesign and let InDesign do the work for me. There's two ways to do this. So the first way I'm going to show you is the way that I find most people really do because people like to just copy and paste their text right into their document. However, you can place it and I'll show you that next. So let's say I got a bunch of text. I highlight it. I'm going to go over here. This is a lot of names. So I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to come over here to my page. Now, first thing I did was on my master page, I actually set up a text box, two text boxes that are linked. So I just linked these two text boxes. That's it. I'm coming over here to page two and I'm going to unlock this from the master page by hitting shift command and click. So now I have unlocked this from the master page and I'm going to click in here and I'm just going to do my old right click and paste. And so you say, okay, well, I'm going to paste all these words into this document. But what it actually does, as you can see, is auto flow the text. And so now it's going to create a whole bunch of pages. Um, so you don't have to sit there and do, I can't tell you how many times I've run across people who are making all these pages, making text boxes, linking the text boxes together. And so it takes you a long time. See, I just made all these pages very quickly. And so you can then come in here and do what you need to do to the text. So I'm going to hit the uh, over here. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to give me some, I'm going to eventually, you know, work with this text a little bit and do some stuff. So, um, so anyway, so yeah, so to make that change to everything, I'm going to highlight Command A, and then I'm going to add in some columns here. Let's say I add in three columns, and that way I can get my columns. All right, so that's way number one that I'm showing you how to do that. So that's just that's just doing a copy paste into now. All these names are in InDesign. I can do whatever I want with them. Goodbye uh, Word document. I can just delete it. Okay, so the next way that I'm going to do this is by doing a file place. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete off. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete off my text here. And um, so as you guys know, y'all can do a Command D, or you can go up to File Place, and you can place any Word document just like a text file. So I'm going to hit OK here, and what's going to do is going to end up loading my cursor uh, like it would with a photo. It's like, hey, where do you want to put this text? And so in order to get it to duplicate, if I just click it, I'll just make one text box. But in order to make it kind of duplicate, I'll actually hold down shift and double click. And so when I place that text, it'll actually do the exact same thing I just showed you uh, with the copy paste method. Uh, but this is with the file place method. Some people like using the file place and placing Word documents like links so that you can go back and edit them later. I just find it messy. I like just one copy of it inside of my final book project. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, do my little double click, and there we go. It's going to do the same thing before. It's going to start auto flowing the text and gives me my text. And then from there, I can do, I can click in here and I can edit it however I want. All right. So that's all I'm going to show you today. And I'm just going to review real quick what I just did for those who are like, well, you're moving too fast here, buddy. Um, so the first method here, this method here, I just did, I, I did the file place. So you can go up here to go file, and then you can come here to place. So it's just you can place photos, but you can also place um, uh, Word documents, uh, things like that, Excel, tables, other stuff like that. Though I will say part of the reason why I like copying and pasting into InDesign instead of file placing is because sometimes I find dealing with tables and charts and things like that that might get copied over. Some of the typesetting doesn't always copy over right uh, when you have it linked. So I like to just copy and paste it, um, you know, in there. So uh, you do file place and you hold down shift and you double click. And that's when it'll place the the words and auto flow it. If you just if you just hit file place and you just hit click or you draw a box for it, it'll just put it in that one box. Um, 
And the first way that I did it, uh, the way that I uh, the way that I normally do it, or I say the way that I like to do it, is I I'm going to come here. I'm just going to delete the stuff that's on these pages here, and I'm going to delete all these pages. And so the way that I did it the first time, which was through the copy and paste, is I delete spreads. Is the way that I do is you got to come up here to the master pages. So you have this page flyout menu, okay, which is also located under here under Windows. But you use this page flyout menu and you use the master page. Okay, so this is like kind of like I call it the secret background page. People can put page numbers and backgrounds on it, and then the people who are on these pages, you know, it'll appear there, but it's not going to be what you're. Um, can't really touch it or change it. So I just got two text boxes here and the way that I link these two text boxes I just, you, there's a little empty box here, you click it and I can break the link or I can make the link. So I click this box and see now I got a loaded cursor I click here it says now I link with this text box. So any words I put in here will automatically flow into there. Shift command click and that gives me my box right here and that allows me to connect my two text boxes. So anything that I paste into here, it'll do the same thing as before. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is Matt, and uh, it's another episode. If you like the little short videos I show you on InDesign, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm just trying to make a couple videos a week, and uh, hopefully you will like it. This is copying and pasting text into InDesign. Let InDesign do the work for you. Thank you. You guys have a great day.